Hi there. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how we can still install Windows 11 without an online account because I hate online accounts. So, to install Windows 11 without an online account, you obviously need a bootable drive with the Windows 11 install uh, kit on it. This one was created with Media Creation Tool. I will link a video in the description that shows how to create a bootable drive with Media Creation Tool, which is valid for both Windows 10 and 11. And now we need to boot from it. On this particular ASUS, you press Escape right after powering it on. This needs to be plugged in, obviously, which I'm doing now. On other models, so I'm pressing Escape now. On other models, uh, keep pressing. Uh, there's other keys that you need to press, but uh, I don't think I pressed it. No, I didn't press it quick enough and I was already at the step where it's too late to install it without uh, an online account. So again, power it on. I said power it on and already start pressing. I'm still doing it. Yay! Let's go to UEFI, hit enter. And now we should be booting into the Windows install setup, whatever you want uh, to call it. And now let's continue to install time and currency. Romanian. Yep, sounds good to me. Nope, this remains US, the keyboard layout. Next. Install now. I don't have the product key, so it should automatically uh, uh, activate by itself because it was already activated on this particular uh, computer, but it was Windows 10, but same key works for Windows 11, never mind. Pro, next. Yeah, agreed. Next. Install Windows only. And I want to delete all of the partitions. I don't want anything on them. I'm going to create new ones any moment now. And this created a lot of partitions. This is annoying. I mean, I'm using the touchpad. So this is a really, really long video with a really uh, annoying process, but Windows 11 install seems to be more annoying than uh, previous uh, versions of Windows. Let's see what I can do here. So 205000, that's about more or less 200 gigs. And also create a partition right here, apply. And here is where we want to install Windows and hit next and uh, let it skip this step, but don't uh, skip, do these steps, but don't do anything next to it. And now if we are again at this point, press shift and F10. This comes up, right or oh, oh. This doesn't allow me to write anything, this stupid laptop. Why doesn't it allow me to write anything? I don't get it. This makes absolutely no sense. Let me get some external keyboard or something. Although, obviously, the keyboard is working, because otherwise Ah, I'm not active on this window. I was not active on this window because I saw something moving in the back. So this was on front, but it was not active. Yeah, Windows install environment is quite weird. So we write here. Uh, I don't think it matters. OOBE, but I, I'm using caps so you can see better. So OOBE slash, where is the slash on this keyboard? 
yeah, it's right next to enter. Bypass on R O and hit enter. And it will bring us back to that uh, screen in, in a moment. Hi there. And now again, shift and F10. Now we are smart enough to know that we need to select this in case it's not selected. And we write, I'm using caps so you can see better again. IP config con fig. I will write these commands. Actually, uh, put a tutorial directly in the description, a link to it. Slash uh, backslash actually, actually, I think is this one. Release and hit enter. In theory, if it were already connected, it uh, would give another message, but we were not already connected to, to Wi-Fi, so Maybe this is good, we'll see next. So now basically we continue with our normal setup and hopefully it will allow us to create a local account, not an online one. So yes, skip the another keyboard layout. We don't want another US is just fine. I don't have internet. This wasn't here before. and continue with limited setup. And now behold, you can enter any name for your local user that's not connected to internet. Exactly what we wanted. User is entered, next. No password, next. Hey, didn't I hit next? Now I did. And it should do the rest of the install without internet. Yeah, let's say no to all of these stupid things. We do not want them required only. Accept, no, accept, no. Yeah, thanks uh, Windows uh, 11 for having a bunch of these things hide there again. And now normal process of uh, setup is resumed and uh, in a few minutes we should be booted into Windows. and we are booted into Windows with a local account. And now obviously you can connect to uh, internet and do whatever you want as with a normal Windows install, but you got rid of that pesky online account. So uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. Hope it helps you, in which case please give it a like, maybe subscribe to the channel for uh, similar uh, future videos, and as always see you in the next one.